Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm on the last day of my vacation as a solo female traveler in New Orleans. I'm actually at the beautiful New Orleans Botanical Garden and I thought that I wanted to share with you a video that's called 10 tips for the first time female solo traveler. Now, I've been traveling as a solo female traveler for the past four years, and I've learned a lot. There's so much that I just did not know at the time, so I thought I'd make it easier and share with you just a bit of what I've learned. Tip one, plan, plan, and over plan. Now, I can't emphasize how important this is. You must research your destination. You must get information as it concerns your accommodation, transportation, both air and ground, depending if you're doing both, entertainment, the ways you're going to uh, pursue your hobbies whilst there, entertainment activities, shopping, you name it. You must plan. It's always good to plan because there, you're entering a new destination. There's so much that you don't know. Don't take anything for granted. It's always best to over plan than under plan. You must also take into consideration the clothing, the weather, and everything that you will need accordingly. Also, responsibilities that you may have whilst you're away you may need to make provision for your parents your children your pets so a lot of planning is involved when you decide to be a solo female traveler tip two pay close attention to your money now i can't emphasize this enough you must pay close attention to your money if you are working with a budget and the truth is most of us are then make a budget prior to going to that trip how much money will you need for food for accommodation for ground transportation and ground transportation is one of those expenses which can really rack up some serious dollars so be very very careful and plan and take that into account a word of advice put your money on different cards don't just have one credit card or one debit card because in my own experience I have found that sometimes depending on the destination some destinations may not necessarily accept a debit card or a credit card or for whatever reason the bank the system is down so it's always good to have money distributed on a number of cards also, I advise you find out what currency is used at that destination and make sure you have some on you at all times. I mean, the US dollar is usually acceptable worldwide, but it may not be in some destinations. So find out exactly what currency is used in that destination and try to have some of it on you at all times. A word of advice as it concerns that try not to keep all of your cash in one location whether in your carry-on or your handbag your purse try to find different places to put your money right now there are several videos online i definitely located one on the internet on youtube in particular where there are people there are people who will show you how to creatively disguise your money so that no it's not easy for someone who has not so honest or pure intentions towards you can't get to your money very quickly so research those videos you'll find many of them online tip three take excellent care of your health now remember you're going into a new destination it's a different environment altogether what i like to do and i must make a disclaimer here i'm not a medical doctor but you so consult with your physician physician as it concerns just this but I like to before I go on any uh, vacation what I like to do is to top up on my vitamin C my vitamin B12 that kind of a thing so that my immune system is a little bit more robust to take on whatever challenges which may exist by entering a new uh, destination also if you need particular shots speak to your physician about that as well because that's also very important to make sure that you are physically ready to enjoy that vacation because the last thing you want 
is to go somewhere and you're sick you're not well and you're not able to enjoy that vacation that you've saved so hard for and certainly expended so much time and energy in ensuring um, happened and you went and you were in bed all all day all night that's definitely not something you want four four leave an itinerary now again this is beyond important we are living in very very serious times and the reality is things can happen it's not something that we want to happen it's not something that we that ought to happen but the reality is we have to be wise and we have to be aware that things can happen and unfortunately there are many stories out there of things happening to female travelers because as solo female travelers particularly because we are alone so what I would advise you to do strongly is to create an itinerary it doesn't have to be anything too fancy but create some kind of itinerary so that a close friend or family member knows exactly where you are or has a general idea as to where you are at any given point in time so that just in case they don't hear from you you know within a particular period they know that something hmm, something may not be right so they would have someone to call someone to contact so leave a list as well concerning your Airbnb addresses, uh, the name of your Airbnb host, your hotels, um, places that you intend to go on, tours, the name, names, contact information for the tour companies, etc. Very important that someone has a general idea as to where you are, how long you're expected to be there. Believe you me, it can make a world of a difference, but of course we're hoping You'll never need it, but it's always good to have it. Also, that takes me to tip five. Now, tip five is this. Now, I know we live in a very automated age and everything is available electronically, but I believe that it's very important to always take with you a hard copy of your documents wherever you are going. Very important. So I like to print out and yes, this may be old fashioned, but I think it's also very important because sometimes things happen. Uh, print a copy of my passport, my visa, my driver's license, ba you know, important bank information, also very important. Oh, there's a bit of a noise in the background, but it will pass soon. So print that information very important that you have it your reservations the, 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 the um, durations in terms of how long you'll be at, dif at different uh, locations very important um, because the truth is you just never know so as as much as possible print even now given what's happening with COVID your vaccination information if you have it print that keep a hard copy with you at all times because you just never know anything can happen and you just never know it's always better to be safe than sorry uh, six this is six right I know it's tempting but as much as possible do not let everyone know that you're traveling alone now it's very easy for that information to come up and you'd be surprised how easy it is. You may be in the back of an, an Uber uh, a car or a Lyft or you may be sitting beside someone on the train or uh, in the plane and as a result you're having conversation, you're on vacation, you don't feel as uptight and you reveal that information and unfortunately not everybody has good intentions. So be very vigilant. I like to describe it as my travel instinct listen to your gut and know when and how to disclose that you are traveling alone but the truth is half of the time it may not be necessary oh I'm just gonna meet up with friends you know I'm, I'm here to, 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 to see some some people or something like that not saying that you ought to be dishonest about it but I honestly think you have to be wise because unfortunately as I mentioned before sometimes more often times than not, solo female travelers can be a target. Seven. Now, we mentioned Uber and Lyft drivers a while ago. Now, I have found in my own experience, and I've traveled, for example, 
a number of places all over the US, uh, South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and I've taken Lyft or Uber drivers everywhere. And what I find is that they are a rich source of information on the local culture. They can tell you the best restaurants, where to go and shop, where to go and get the most economical items if you need um, to, the, the, the best routes to go, wherever, that kind of a thing. I find that they are definitely a rich resource of information. So if you have to take an Uber or Lyft, ask questions. And they're usually very, very happy to share with you all that they know. So I encourage you, definitely take advantage of that opportunity to chit chat and get some information that could definitely enhance your vacation experience. That brings us to eight. Now, pack as lightly as you can. Now, ladies, you know how we can be. At least I know how I used to be. I used to pack everything. I'd be going away for a seven day trip and I would have two, three weeks of clothing and that kind of a thing. And this went on for years. I didn't learn initially. It has taken me a while to realize that it's so much easier on me to pack lightly. Just pack the essentials. Uh, and there's so many videos online as well that can help you to pack very, very lightly. I used to wonder how for example, a woman could just travel across Europe with a backpack. But the reality is you most definitely can. So I encourage you to do just that. Pack lightly. And also, nowadays, check luggage I have found is becoming more and more expensive, whether on the train or air. So it's only to your benefit economically to pack lightly. And also, when it comes down to moving from place to place, I mean, things may happen. You may have to move from this hotel to that hotel. You may decide to make an adjustment to your itinerary. So you go here, you go there. It's so much easier to move around when you have less luggage. So I encourage you to pack as lightly as you can. That takes us to nine, tip nine. Have an open mind. Now, especially as a first time solo female traveler, you may not necessarily have visited this destination on your own or any at all. So it's very important to realize that travel is all about exposure to different cultures, different ways of living, different ways of being. So travel, one of the things that I encourage you to pack as you pack for your trip is an open mind because when you have an open mind, you are flexible and when you're flexible, you are adaptable. And when you're adaptable, then you set yourself up to having more fun and extracting so much more out of that vacation experience. So be open. Just realize not everybody is, is it lives like you. Not everybody speaks like you, but how boring that would be if everyone acted just like us, lived just like us. And I've found that I've learned so much from being open-minded and listening to how other people live and being able to import some of those ways into my life to, ex to enhance my own life's journey. So I encourage you, be as open as you can. And that takes me to the final tip. That is tip 10. Now tip 10, I encourage you to journal. Now I know you might be thinking that's a bit boring, Faith, but it's not. Journal as much as you possibly can. Take pictures, record videos, but there's just something so special about recording your experiencing and capturing your experiencing in words every evening or every night at the end of your vacation experience. How did you feel when you got to this location? Who did you meet? What were they, their names? How did you interact? Why did you select that particular place? How were your expectations realized or not? Lessons learned, you name it, up to you. Time goes by so quickly and you're gonna find that your vacation time is gonna go by like this. So you wanna ensure that when you come back, you can literally sit down somewhere and just relive the experiences over and over again because you paid such close attention to documenting that experience well. And of course, it serves as a rich resource for 
your family and for your friends and the truth is we're not going to remember everything necessarily so it's good to capture those special moments as they're, they occur so i hope these 10 tips have helped you and i wish you all the fun and happiness on your next solo female travel experience i am faith remember to like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you soon for my new video. Bye!